Hi, my name's Kevin Buzzard from the Xena Project, and in this video I'm going to give you some hints for solving mathematically trivial lemmas in Lean. Not being able to solve mathematically trivial lemmas can be a source of some frustration to mathematicians who are beginner Lean users. In this video we're going to talk about this lemma here that says that 1 is less than or equal to 1.5 to the n. Here n is a natural number. Recall that the natural number starts at 0. So this lemma is obviously true and doesn't really even need a proof as far as a mathematician is concerned. But if we're stuck uh, needing a proof of this lemma, then we have to prove it. So a beginner user might try something like SIMP, because it looks pretty simple. But unfortunately, SIMP doesn't solve simple goals. That's not what SIMP means. Uh, what does the SIMP tactic do? SIMP solves goals of the form a equals b, or, or a if and only if b. That's, that's the job of uh, SIMP. And this is an inequality, not an equality. So SIMP is very unlikely to be able to solve that goal in general. Uh, another tactic, which I should say that there's a lot of tactics. You see, if we go to the Lean Prover community website here, then click on the API documentation, then, and then click on the tactics, you can see that there's a huge number of tactics here. And one thing that one can do is to start plowing through the tactics and uh, seeing if one can find one which will solve this goal. But in fact, that's somehow doomed to failure because no tactic, no one tactic will solve this goal for reasons which will perhaps become clear in a minute. Uh, so the next thing is this is an inequality and it involves numbers. And so you could try, you could try norm num. See if that will solve it. And norm num will fail to solve it. Uh, it's done something. It's, uh, I guess it did, it's done the same as what simp did. It's changed 1.5 to the n to 3 to the n over 2 to the n. But unfortunately, uh, norm num, what does it do? It solves goals uh, like kind of 1.5 is less than 1.7. Norm num would certainly solve that goal. Uh, goals with numbers. Uh, and this, you see, this isn't a number here. It's got some variable involved here. So norm num won't solve that goal. So the next thing you might want to try is linearith. Uh, that will also fail, I would imagine. Yes, linearith has, has failed uh, because it solves linear inequalities. And uh, this one isn't linear. This has a, a, a power n in. Uh, and so now we're getting desperate. We're thinking, well, there's this tactic library search, uh, which searches through the entire, Lean's entire maths library to try and find this lemma. And library search has failed as well. And why has library search failed? Uh, you know, looks, looks for, you know, the exact lemma you need. And the exact lemma we need is that 1 is less than or equal to 1.5 to the n. This is not a lemma that's going to be in Lean's maths library uh, because there won't be any lemmas in Lean's maths library about the number 1.5. This is somehow the problem. So what the, the question is, let's step back and say, what lemmas will be in, maths li in Lean's maths library? Uh, so 1 less than or equal to x to the n, that's the kind of result that we need. But you see, this isn't true in general. If x is, for example, a number between 0 and 1, uh, then 1 won't be less than or equal to x to the n. So clearly the lemma is that this, 1 less than or equal to x, implies 1 less than or equal to x to the n. That's the kind of lemma that will be in Lean's math library. Unfortunately, library search won't find it because uh, the input hypothesis, 1 less than or equal to x, I guess in our case, that's 1 less than or equal to 1.5. And 1 less than or equal to 1.5 is certainly provable by Lean, but Lean doesn't sort of know it. Lean has to be told it. So what do we tell it? Have h, the real number 1, is less than or equal to 1.5. Uh, how are we going to solve this? I guess, well, this is, this is an inequality between two explicit numbers, so norm num will solve this there. And now we're in, a, we're in a situation where library search might work. So let's try commenting it out. And now we see library search does work. It says, try this. Let's click on there. And now we're trying this. And this goal has now been solved. If I put a comma here, we'll see goals accomplished. See, there's no warnings and no errors down here. And library search has managed to solve this goal. But you see, we needed this key input here. So when you think about the kind of things that should be in Lean's maths library, it's results like this. And lo and behold, the moment you put in the hypothesis we need, uh, library search will solve it. So that's one way of solving lemmas like this. Let me show you another way. Uh, the other way is 
the other way involves guessing what the lemma is called. The big problem is there's hundreds of lemmas. Let's go back to this. Let's go back to this here. We have like thousands of, you know, what's this going to be some lemma about? I don't know. Is it going to be a lemma about ring theory? Uh, we click on ring theory and and we have, a, you know, a, a million lemmas about about localization of rings. The, the, this, this, the Linus Mass Library has become massive now. And if you don't know what you're looking for, it'd be quite hard to find uh, the result you're after. But you see, there are some... There, there are some clues. These lemmas have all got names, and there's some logic behind the names to the lemmas. So, what's going on here? We want to prove a result of the form one is less than or equal to something. So, we need to apply a lemma that's going to be called one is less than or equal to something or other. I guess it's less than or equal to a power. So, it would be called one less than or equal to a power. This is my guess as to what this lemma is going to be called. And as you can see, Lean is now saying, well, there's six lemmas in the library. Uh, which mention one less than or equal to some power. Uh, and maybe it's one of these. And in fact, the top one, this looks very promising, doesn't it? Let me show you what I'm doing here. Uh, we've got one LE power. That's not the name of the lemma we want. But if I press control and space, hold down control and press space, it brings up this mode here where Lean is listing, is listing possible lemmas. If I press control space again, uh, it switches between these two little these two little mo this is this is what we want, isn't it? One less than or equal to variable implies for all natural numbers n, one is less than or equal to variable to the n. This is the lemma we want, and it's called one le power of one le. Of means is implied by. And you can see there, one le power of one le. Let's press tab, comma, and now this lemma has been applied, and our goal is reduced to the question one is less than or equal to three over two. And again, these are both numbers now. There's no variables involved. So norm num should solve this there. And again, you can see we've got no warnings and no errors. And so there's two ways of solving this, this mathematically trivial lemma. Uh, I hope that's of some help to some people. Thanks very much for watching.